Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make a television and I'm going to show you what to put on the screen of the television. I'm going to press 7. We go to press SX to enlarge the screen. Now we're going to make it uh, 5 boxes wide. We're going to press SY. We're going to make it 3 boxes wide. You can scroll up something like this. And because it is a, a very new television, we're going to scale down the thickness of it by pressing Z. And we going to bring it to something like that. Okay, we need to enlarge it a little bit. Okay, this is the start. 7 again. We're going to press Ctrl R. We're going to switch first of all to edit mode. Press A to deselect everything, Control R, and we move until we have that purple line, we roll the middle of the mouse until we have two lines, we press the left mouse key, and now we're going to press S, X, and we're going to enlarge them, we're going to move aside until we have something like that, we're going to do the same in the other direction, so Control R, Move around the middle, don't press anything, just roll the middle mouse key until you have two. Left mouse click, we press S, Y, and we open up. You see, like this, open up, and you can scroll further and further away. You don't have to stop by the end of the screen, do something like that. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to face selection, this left mouse click. We right click on the middle face, we move it a little bit, and we press E from extrude. We're going to extrude in Z direction a little bit through the inside. Okay, this is the screen. Okay, now underneath we reselect that one and we're going to subdivide it. We subdivide it twice. We reselect these four. And we're going to subdivide them again. Okay, now we're going to select the four in the middle and we're going to press E to extrude, something like that. And now we're going to press E again to extrude, but not that much, something like this. Left mouse click and we directly press S to scale it out. And we're going to make something like that. We're going to press E again, and we're going to enlarge, and this is the foot of the television. Okay, I think we're approximately there. We're going to select right-click the screen, and we're going to add some colors. So we go to material over here. We're going to say this material is black, because the television is normally black. We select the color. Too black, not fully black, but gray black. And we put the intensity to one. Okay. We're going to add another color. And this is the screen, which we're going to give a white color. And we're going to press assign. Okay. The first thing we're going to do now is put the camera to the correct position. And therefore, we're going to press N. Lock camera to view, we press 0. Now we can turn the cam, the object, television, to the right position that we want. Something like this. And now we flatten it. It's not that, that important. Good, we're going to press on the screen, press 0 again. We're going to put the lights to a position, one over there. Shift D to copy one, and we're going to bring it aside to the other side. We're going to render it to see what's going on. And, and here we have a camera view of the television, which is for the moment nothing to see. 
uh, pay attention that if you look underneath on rendering you have your file format which you're going to choose jpeg i assume um, now we're going back on the left side we press 3d view and now we're going to add something to the screen I'm going to bring it a little more aside so we go over here which we're going to choose texture therefore we're going to edit edit mode again sorry select that one press edit mode okay and we select the screen we're going to the texture we're going to say new and we're going to choose image or movie underneath we open up and in my case it's on the blender which is called television and the sign I want to put on the JPEG I want to put on is breaking news so open that image you already see what's going on and for the rest we we'll leave it up to there now we're going to put breaking news on the screen and therefore we're going to over here push left mouse key and we go to UV editing so there's a new screen popping up we position the other one a little bit like that so we can see what's going on and we're going to if you look carefully you see shading UVs underneath we right click on the screen so it's marked with the orange lines and we say mark scene now we're going to unwrap unwrap and you see there's a orange um, popping up on the left side now we're going to open underneath and we're going to reselect the same jpeg that we want on the screen with the little mouse key we roll it yeah. now if this is not fitting to what we have this right click on that corner hold down the shift button right click on that corner and now you can press g to move it up like this you can press g to move it around also like that i'm going to put it back you can press S to scale it up and down. Only these two points because we, I've selected these two points. Escape to come back. So if we have what we want, now we go back to the screen that we had. So in that case, left mouse click on top and we go to default. Now, if we want to see what's going on, we can put over here render and then you see what we have now you see that this is not looking okay it's backwards it's mirrored in that case you have to switch over here from plus one to minus one and then you have the correct visionary if breaking news is upside down you have to switch over here to y and the other one to x then you see that breaking news is upside down if you have that go back again switch to x over here to y and everything is normal if you have it backside that's flipped left or right you can add minus one and you see that it is on mirrored so if you want it back press one and it is switched now if i render it then you have your television with breaking news on it. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.